are blaming several crimes and crashes around Waterbury to gangs. Now the city is forming a gang task force to deal with the rise in violence. News 8 Waterbury reporter LaSalle Blanks reports. News 8 has just learned that a car crash into a utility pole and then into this house last week on Wilka Street in Waterbury was gang related. Police told News 8 that the two young men who died in this car were involved in a dispute with others involving weapons right before they took off speeding down the street. No one in the house was hurt. And on Halloween Day, police responded to shots fired outside the Duggan School in broad daylight. Two recent violent incidents that raised concern for Waterbury's police chief, Vernon Riddick. Actually, I was raised in the Brooklyn section of town near Duggan School, uh, the apartment complex around a corner. That's where I grew up. So to see my home territory, my home neighborhood, where I grew up at, to be in a situation is very troubling. They also raised concern inside the mayor's office. It's, it's out of control, quite frankly. Chief Riddick says there's been an increase in gun-related violence in Waterbury. The mayor says it's mostly neighborhood groups, not national gangs, causing most of the problems. Having beefs with each other, whether it's over guns, drugs, women. They say the groups mostly stem from the North End area. The mayor asked the police chief to resume a gang task force that the mayor was on in the early 2000s when he was the police chief. We asked how it would work so, and how it would make things safer on the streets. And they are out there as we speak right now actually gathering uh, information and intelligence and we will be doing very aggressive uh, enforcement action against individuals responsible for this uptick in violence. Four detectives and two officers who will now be charged 24-7 with investigating these groups with the Street Crimes Unit and trying to gain intelligence from them. In Waterbury, LaSalle Blanks, News 8.